Hi there, and welcome back uh, to another video. It's uh, Tim Golf 5 Tango Mike back with you. Now, I've been looking at uh, another idea for working portable or even from a small space at home where you can get three bands with no radials and uh, no tuner. Now, the antenna is, uh, yes, you've guessed it, an end fed half wave, but this time we're using two traps one for 15 meters and one for 10 meters. As I say, no radials and no tuner required. Uh, let me show you basically what the antenna looks like. So as you can see here from the uh, from the diagram we've got on the screen, this is the final measurements of the antenna following tuning and everything else. And I'll show you the SWR and things like that in, in, in a moment or so. But uh, looking at the diagram, as you can see, it's fed at the bottom with a 49 or 56 to 1 transformer with coax going off to the uh, radio on the, on the left hand side there. Now, if you go up on the transformer, you can see that the first part measures about 4.21 meters, and that's the halfway for 10 meters. Now, it's shorter than the 5 meters we'd expect, uh, simply because we've got a bit of loading from the transformer, and also from the 10 meter coaxial trap, which is at the top of that, and that uh, chokes off 10 meters. What we've then got is a very short bit of wire, about, well, it measures 29 centimeters there, before we get to the 15 meter trap, which does the same thing for 15 meters. Uh, the overall length then for 15 meters is appreciably shorter than the normal half wave, but again, that's due to the loading of the transformer and the 10 and now 15 meter trap as well. Finally, we have a, a wire measuring about 1.39 meters going from the top of the 15 meter trap to the very end of the antenna, and that brings in 20 meters. And of course, if you look at the overall length of the antenna there on the top right, it's 6.03 meters, and that includes both traps which measure seven centimeters each so the whole antenna from the uh, transformer up to the very tip of the the, the top wire there is 6.03 meters long now uh, with that of course you can quite easily if you wish uh, trim a couple of centimeters off here and there it won't matter and that will then bring it into six meters long and that will get you onto a six meter pole for example if you want to take it out maybe uh, parks on the air soda portable whatever and you get three bands off the bat so let me show you then what the SWR looked like because I set this up at home on a fiberglass pole, stuck the analyzer on and after quite a bit of pruning we managed to get a good match. Let me show you how it went. So here's the transformer at the very base of the antenna, wire going up to both traps, to the 10 meter trap, then the 15 meter trap and above for 20 meters. So we're looking at the MFJ uh, analyzer then. Let's check out 10 meters first of all. As we can see at the very, very top of 10 meters, it's uh, 1.3 to one. And as we go down to the SSB portion, 1.1, 1.2 to one, uh, still well under 1.5 to one at the bottom of the band. So overall 10 meters is coming out really, really well. Very happy indeed with 10 meters. Let's look next then at 20 meters. Here the antenna is quite short, of course. Interesting to see how sharp the tuning is. And in fact, I was pleasantly surprised. You can see we're well under 1.5 to 1 again for the uh, SSB portion of 20 meters. Even at the bottom end, well under 2 to 1. At the very top of the band, yeah, well under 1.5 to 1. So I have to say I was very, very pleased indeed with how 20 meters came in. Very happy. Finally. Let's take a look then at uh, 15 meters here. Now, 15 meters, a very similar story. Again, a good tune here. Uh, at the very bottom, 15 meters on 1.5 to 1. SSB portion, well under 1.5 to 1. So, overall, very, very happy indeed with how they've all tuned. Uh, yeah, the tuning went well, didn't it? Which is really, really good. Now, what I've got and done, I uh, modelled this antenna on MMANA as well before I put it all together. Let me just show you what the sort of anticipated performance is going to be like for this antenna. So let's bring up the screen for you here. And uh, we've got MMANA fired up. We've already got the, uh, the antenna loaded into our system here. And if we look at it, we can see what it looks like. Let's make it a little bit bigger. So at the bottom, we've got the uh, the source there, which is the uh, the transformer, the NFN half wave transformer. We've got the, uh, you can see a little red sort of first X here. That's the first trap for 10 meters. There's this, another red X there. That's the second trap for 15. And there's the wire going up here to complete the antenna. So we've got 10, 15 and 20 meters. Okay, let's have a look then. Let's try 10 meters first of all. And let's see what it's like. Don't worry about the SWR here. MMANA doesn't uh, like uh, NFED halfways fed anywhere above the ground in terms of SWR. 
not bothered by that at all. Uh, what is interesting is that the uh, the um, the elevation when we get our peak gain is actually 15 degrees, 16 degrees, which is nice and low, and it's quite in it's quite interesting how uh, how good that looks because most of quarter waves, ground fed half waves tend to be around 20, 25 degrees. That's really interesting. Look at the far field pot then for 10 meters. We've got a nice low sort of uh, sort of uh, pattern here. And uh, we're omnidirectional at minus 2.9 degrees at 5 degrees elevation, 5 degrees takeoff, minus 3 dB. Very nice indeed. Uh, that's, that's really nice for a vertical. If we go to, let's go to 15 meters. The elevation angle of peak gain is about 18 degrees. That's not too bad. If we go to 5 degrees for our DX again, minus 4.7. Look up here, minus 4.7. Very, very promising again. And again, uh, I can tell you now, this antenna did indeed work some DX on 15 meters. Finally, let's have a look then at 20 meters. So here we go. Elevation angle just before 20 degrees, uh, just below 20 degrees at peak gain. And if we look at our 5 degree takeoff, minus 5.3 so yeah the antenna is uh, a little bit uh, shorter on 20 meters but overall you know uh, very very promising indeed and I'm, I'm very very happy with uh, not only how the antenna looked when I modeled it how well it tuned but stay tuned because the next uh, video I'll be bringing out in a couple of days time we'll be showing you well maybe in a few days time we'll be showing you how well the antenna performed uh, when I took it out uh, one afternoon a few days ago when the bands weren't great, but we still had a lot of fun with it. So I hope that's giving you some inspiration, perhaps to have a go at uh, doing your own version of this antenna. There'll be another video coming up over there somewhere and a chance to subscribe over there somewhere. Thanks for joining me. You take care and have a great day and I'll catch you again soon. All the best from the south coast of the UK. 7-3 for now.